We're studying biomes and we're writing reports. This is my PowerPoint. There are many different types of biomes, like the tundra, the grasslands, and the desert. But we're going to talk about the rainforest. This is the world map of the tropical rainforest. This is the climate of the rainforest. What is it? What does the rainforest get a lot of? Rain. Rain. Okay, so talk about uh, the rain again. How many? Is that inches on the right side or how? What's the measurement? That's 300 uh, millimeters. It says mm. Oh, that's a. Or mm, whatever mm is. Mm, okay, keep going. I'm gonna check that later. Okay. okay. You click on one of the pictures. It's okay. Go down to a PowerPoint. Just hit the arrow if you do the if you do the snippet on the pictures, it saves you a lot of time. Can you cut that out? Okay. Can I start this over? No, it's all right. The current slide. Okay. These are the animals of the tropical rainforest. There are a lot of animals in the tropical rainforest. These are the plants. These are the plants that are in the tropical rainforest. One of the things I want you to do in this is add some information about medication. A lot of medications we use come from ingredients and plants we get from the rainforest. So we'll have to Google that and research what drugs we've gotten from the rainforest. Keep going. Okay. These are some of the natural resources in the tropical rainforest. Um, that's water. Those are bananas. What's the thing in the middle? I don't know what that is. I'm not quite like sure either. Eggs. They look like eggs. They look, they're beans, I think. Like yeah. What does the, beans. the rainforest give us that the whole planet needs? Uh, you need, you're using it right now. Mm -hmm. You're using it right now. Oxygen. Yep. Because of the trees? Uh, yes. You need to put a picture of a tree in there. These are examples of how the tropical rainforest can be harmed. This is how we can protest the rainforest. <laughs> One of the things that uh, we can add is the way we're using re-engineered wood. Uh, there's a certain guitar I was researching, and it, it's made of a laminate wood, and there's a bunch of sawdust, and they put it together. Um, That's better the than guitar players are starting to understand oh. that you can we're going to have to use more renewable resources rather than cut down trees for all of our guitars and things we make out of wood. Hello, this is Patrick, and we are going to be learning about the coniferous forest. This PowerPoint might be a little short compared to Zoe's, so. Oh. Okay, so what's it look like? This is a world map of the coniferous forest. This is all of the coniferous forests in the world. This is the climate of the coniferous forest. So slow down, let's talk about it. So the dotted line here are the temperatures, right? Yes. And then on the right side are the temperatures there. So it gets down below 20 degrees. Yes. And so in January, the temperature is around... Like 25, maybe? No. Negative. Yeah. Oh, that's negative. I couldn't see the And then up here it says the amount of precipitation, precipitation in, in, it says millimeters again. I don't know if I believe that. Okay. But it goes from 20 or about 30 mm -hmm. in, in January, mm -hmm. and then it goes up through February, March, April. Mm -hmm. And towards the center, you get the highest levels of precipitation and the highest levels of uh, temperatures. That makes sense. Yep. Okay. There, mm, there are eight animals. Try and find them. Okay. So where are they? Okay. Well, okay. What is that? That's supposed to be harder to find. What is it? It's a moose. Oh, okay. Here are all the animals that you were supposed to find. Mm. I really like that slide. 
here are some plants of the coniferous forest. I have no idea what they are called. I bet we probably have probably a label those. Yep. This is the end of my PowerPoint. That was great. Now hit somebody hit stop. It would be great. Okay. Hit escape and we'll be able to get back. Scopy. Is it thing recording at all?